Hey, ladies and gents, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. So the YouTube Google Plus integration is complete. Let me just say that I have been enjoying some of your comments and videos that have been spoofing <laughs> the whole integration. A lot of people are not really happy about all this, but hey, if you're going to use YouTube, what can you do? So in this video, I'm going to go over the comment section what some of these things mean, why you see reply links for some comments and not all. And then more importantly, I'm going to talk about the difference between your Google Plus personal profile and a Google Plus page and the optimal way to set all of this up. So let's get started. So I'm using this evolution of SEO video that I posted back in May because it allows me to illustrate a lot of the, the features here. Primarily, I get a lot of spam on this particular video. So right away, Google Plus told me that they found the spam. And one thing I'm noticing is that I really like how they're handling the spam. So they're automatically hiding them. And then I can come in here and review them. And sure enough, every last one of these is spam, many of them by the same user. So you can just trash them all right here. Also, for the spam that was posted before the integration, let me see if I can find one. There is a nice little alert box. It's a gray alert box that Google puts up. There it is. And so you can come over here and just remove that. But I like how it immediately alerts people that it's spam. So let's talk about this comment here that's at the top of this video. When I first saw this, I was like, wait a minute, I didn't make this comment. But I then realized this was the description that I used for the video when I originally posted this video on Google Plus back in May. And so here it is. So as you can see, I have 17 plus ones on this and that matches the number of thumbs up. And also the 11 replies matches the 11 comments on Google Plus. So the Google Plus comments that are associated with your videos will appear above everything else. So any comments, any shares. So Debbie didn't comment, but she shared this video. And so it automatically appeared, even though she created this comment or, or share two months ago before the integration happened. So Google just pulled all of the comments and shares on Google Plus and gave them top billing in the comments. So also, as you can see, people that share it from your original post, the comment appears like this. So if we go over to Al, hey Al, thanks for sharing. <laughs> Here's his face right here. He's one of the people that shared the video from my link. And so it appears like this in my video and apparently somebody must have plus one his share and that's what you see right there. So if you just scroll down as you can see KDP she's at the top because she shared this on Google Plus and then I replied on Google Plus so all of that is coming through now. And the other thing too is you can tag people in comments. I can see this being a good and a bad thing. It's great because you can stay in the conversation but I can also see this getting abused by everybody tagging you especially people who like are really really popular like that have you know hundreds of thousands of followers and people just trying to get their attention. I can see this going in the other direction as well. So this, mm, it's got pluses and minuses, I guess. Now, what about replying to people that did not post on Google Plus, like these people here who commented before the uh, transition took place. So for example, Thomas Schofield, if you want to reply to Thomas, you can just come up here and say plus Thomas Schofield. And there he is. And so when I make this comment, he will be notified on Google+. Plus. Now, if you can't tag the person, it probably means that they do not have a Google Plus account. Now, you might say, well, that's a pain in the butt. You got to go down and remember how to spell their name. Yeah, it is a pain in the butt. But the good thing is, because everyone now has to use Google+, Plus, this is only going to be for older comments. Going forward, you won't have to deal with this because everybody will be on Google+, Plus in some fashion. The other thing you may have noticed is that you can now share your comments on Google+. Plus. So whatever you put here in this box will either show up on your personal profile or your page, depending on which one is synced up to your Google+, Plus account. You can also add links in your comments. And I'm hoping this is only for the channel owner. Oh my goodness, I hope Google would not do this. That could be a nightmare. But it's nice for channel owners because I know for me, a lot of times people will say, hey Lisa, I wish you'd do a video on how you draw on your screen. And I'm like, 
I have a video on that. I just did one a couple weeks ago. So now instead of telling them to go to my you know, list of videos, I can just put a link to the video in the description. So that's nice. And also when I didn't mention this, when you comment and you decide to share this on Google Plus, you can choose who you want to share it with. So I could share the comment with, you know, my top fans circle if I wanted to. You can pretty much, of course, do what you can do with Google Plus because obviously this is pretty much the same engine now. So now let's get to what I think is the most important part of this video, the Google Plus profile versus the Google Plus page. I royally screwed this up in my opinion. And I think those of you guys who are just getting started with Google Plus, you have an advantage because you can do it right the first time. Anyway, so I'm gonna illustrate what I believe is the best way to use the Google profile versus the page. Okay, so let's say you're Joe Smith on Google Plus. You either signed up with your real name or you signed up with your YouTube channel name. It doesn't matter. Both of these are your main Google Plus accounts, no matter which one you used. So Joe Smith has a personal YouTube channel where he talks about his family, his hobbies, his speaking engagements, maybe. So that YouTube channel is synced up with his main Google Plus profile. So Joe also has two websites. He has one on fishing and he has one on golf. With Google Plus, what you want to do is you want to create pages that are associated with each website because every page can have a YouTube channel and a website associated with it. So the idea is for every site, you have a different page, but they all tie back up to your main account. Now, let me show you what a lot of us did. We were early adopters, so we signed up with Google+, used our names, and remember, pages at the time were not in existence. There were no Google+, Plus brand pages at the time. So we started getting all these followers. Everybody's following us under our names. Yay, come follow me on Google+. Plus. Then Google announces pages. I don't know what happened to this guy. He's got two heads. Anyway, Google announces brand pages. Okay, and so everybody's like, oh, I've got to create a Google Plus page. And so then everybody's like, well, wait a minute. Do I post to my personal profile or do I post to my page? So some of us started posting to both. Some of us only posted to our pages. But what a lot of people realize is that no one was really using their page. Most people were getting their followers and interaction from their main account. So a lot of us were like, what is the purpose of the page? And at the time, your page, you couldn't act as your page on Google+. Now you can act as your page. You can associate a YouTube channel with your page. And so it functions a lot more like a Facebook page, meaning that you can act as your page on Google+. It wasn't like that when a lot of us first joined Google+. So now a lot of us are having to backtrack and say, oh my goodness, should I really be using my page? So what are you supposed to do if your YouTube channel and everything is associated with your name and you want it to be associated with your page. Now, there is something that you can do. The question you have to ask yourself is, does it make sense to do that at this point? And that answer is going to be different depending on how many followers, followers you have and whatever your strategy is. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but it's up to you whether or not you feel like you really need to do this or not. Okay, so I'm signed in under my hair channel. I'm choosing this account because I just made the transition with this channel. So I've logged into Google Plus under my channel name or Google Plus username, which is now basically the same thing. So you can come over here and go to pages. And this is where you go to create a page like I talked about earlier. And so you can add a cover photo. You can assign a website to that page. But the problem is right now, my YouTube channel is not associated with this page. It's associated with the account that I created called Naturally Curly. Well, I want to take that YouTube channel and disassociate it from my account and attach it to this page. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to YouTube settings and you want to disconnect your Google Plus profile and your YouTube username. Now, don't worry, it's not going to delete your videos. You're just going to disassociate this account with 
your channel because you want your channel to be associated with your page. So this is just basically telling me my name for the channel is still going to be the same and everything. And it's saying my profile will still exist. I can modify it or delete it if I want. I'm just disconnecting this channel from this account. So I'm going to say next. Now you have the opportunity to delete your profile if you want or edit your profile. Well, we're just going to say done. Okay, so now when I go back to YouTube.com, Google, of course, is trying to get me to connect to Google Plus. So I'm going to say connect. And it's going to ask me now what page I want to connect to. So now this is where I go and choose my page and say next. So now my YouTube channel is now associated with my page instead of my main profile. So now when I go to video manager, I can see my videos. But if I were to switch accounts and sign in as my main profile, the videos will disappear. Don't panic. They're still there. They're just no longer associated with your main account. They're associated with your page. So that's how you set that all up. So now when you go back to your Google Plus page, you will now have a YouTube tab located on your page. That's how you know everything is synced up. And so now when I scroll through, I can see all of my videos. Now, you may be wondering if you should really make this change or not. Theoretically, if you tend to operate as your site, you want to go and operate as your site or your page on YouTube for branding. So if you're considering making the switch and posting more to your page instead of your personal profile, one thing that you can do to make the transition is post to both accounts. So when you post a new video, obviously your page will automatically get updated because it's synced, but you can still manually post the link to your personal profile. So all those followers will still get your new content. So that way you're not really losing viewership because you're now going to start using your page. I know guys, it's kind of confusing. I don't even really know what I'm going to do yet, but this is one way to handle it. It's like I said, it's really up to you. Now, one question I've been getting and I've been seeing, and I had this question myself, what if we have multiple YouTube channels like I do under different email logins? Can we bring them all under one account? No, but what you can do is you can go to your page and you can go to manage this page. And down here at the bottom, you can add managers. As you can see, I've already invited myself to manage this page. So you click add managers and then you just type in the person's name that you want to manage the channel. And so when I'm logged into my other account, I can still manage this page. So you can't merge accounts that are under different logins, but you can still manage them all under one username. So that's at least one benefit. Now, what is supposed to happen is I'm supposed to get an email to that account that I just invited about managing that page but I'm not getting the email for some reason. So I went to help. I went to the settings to make sure that I had invites you to manage Google plus pages and my Google plus settings checked. And I do, but supposedly this is a known bug for some accounts where people are not getting their invites. So that's kind of frustrating because I would love to show you more, but I can't use that feature right now, which would be very useful for someone like me that has multiple YouTube channels under different email addresses. So hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. Now, one thing I wanted to add, if you need help with this transition, here are a couple of resources that I've been using. You can go over to the home tab and then go to communities. I would highly recommend that you join the YouTube Google plus integration community. They've got a couple of moderators over there. So if you have a question, someone will generally answer within like 30 minutes. So they have really good support. If you've got questions, the other thing is there is a support link that I will also put in the description. And you can contact YouTube if you're having any kind of problems or if there's an emergency, maybe you've accidentally deleted your channel, God forbid, but you can get help and they do respond. They responded to me actually within 24 hours. So if you're having any problems with the integration at all, there is a support link. They kind of make it difficult to find, but I actually got it from using the YouTube Google Plus integration community here on Google Plus. So thanks for sticking with me guys through this long video. I hope this was helpful. I know this is a little bit overwhelming. It's a lot to learn, but if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. So thanks for watching you guys. Bye-bye.